Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 822 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, the Central African Republic has passed a bill allowing the use of crypto. Voyager Digital has shared some business milestones and launched its Crypto for All campaign. And Block Quarry has provided an update. Just before we get into today's show, though, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, so please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. Right, so Cointelegraph reports that the Central African Republic, or CAR, has reportedly passed a bill making it legal for citizens to pay their taxes in cryptocurrency and allow the use of crypto as a form of payment for businesses. According to the piece, some sources even purport that the CAR, like El Salvador before it, is adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender, though this appears to be untrue, at least unverified. As of yet, the cryptocurrency bill was introduced by the country's Minister of Digital Economy, Post, and Telecommunications, a fellow by the name of Justin Gornazako, on Thursday last week and was approved in the country's parliament. Moving along, Voyager Digital Limited, which trades on the TSX under the ticker VOYG, has announced the launch of its new Crypto for All campaign aimed at bringing more humanity and accessibility to the world of crypto across media channels in the U.S. The company also posted some business milestones, including its completion of over 36 million consumer crypto transactions since it first released its mobile app, and over $5.5 billion in net new retail deposits since inception. Steve Ehrlich, Voyager's CEO and co-founder, said, quote, Voyager is, first and foremost, focused on advocating for the crypto consumer. And even amid the inevitable period of regulatory uncertainty, we have not seen any material impacts on our business. We continue to see healthy growth in net new dollar and crypto deposits, as well as increased customer engagement on the platform. It is an exciting time for crypto, and I couldn't be more optimistic about our company and our future. End quote. Block Quarry Corp., which trades on the OTC under the ticker BLQC, has announced financial and operational performance highlights for the 12 months ended December 31, 2021, as well as the full launch of the company's Phase 1 20 megawatt hosting infrastructure at its southeast U.S. cryptocurrency mining site, which is expected to drive approximately $9.5 million in annual revenues going forward. The company posted revenues of $960,000, an increase of 1,643% year-over-year, as well as total assets amounting to $10.8 million. Alonzo Pierce, the president and chair of Block Quarry, said, quote, 2021 was a breakthrough year for the company, and the investments we made during that period are already starting to pay big dividends as we begin to collect on the implementation of our Phase 1 hosting infrastructure. The top line exploded higher last year, and the bottom line is set to swing in our favor sharply as we get past our major fixed costs. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Audible, 
Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available. 